Hi, I'm Carlos from RC Advisor. Um, the transmitter that I use is a uh, JR X9303. It's you know the spread spectrum uh, transmitter. I've had it for about five years. I'm pretty happy with it. But the transmitters usually come with uh, nickel metal hydride batteries, you know NIMH, and those batteries have a, a couple of problems, but the, the, the main problem with those batteries is that the self-discharge rate is really high. I mean, I couldn't, I can't put this aside for a month uh, without having to charge the battery. You know, I can I come back a, a month later and they're like, if, you know, if, if not fully discharged, they just they just don't have any any charge left, and you know, it's it's. It's a little bit of a hassle, but otherwise they work fine. You know, of course the capacity, um, it, it's not it's not huge. So so you know, with the capacity not being huge and the self discharge rate, I pretty much had to be constantly charging up the battery. Well, I, again, I, I got this about five years ago, and the ba the battery just don't last that long. You know, it, it just it had no ability to. Uh, retain any kind of charge so I needed to get a replacement and I don't know how much an original uh, JR battery costs but I, I think they're maybe $15 so I, I looked around and I said okay you know what else is out there it's, are there any better choices so I ended up buying what's called a um, lithium iron phosphate battery and people call them by different names, you know, they're, they're L-I-F-E or LF, L-F-P batteries. And this one is from Harry King. And it's designed to fit right in the tra in popular transmitters. Um, and uh, again, you know, this is a, a JR9303. And the battery just fits right in there. And, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, maybe about the same weight as what it replaced. But I only paid like six, seven bucks for it. And it's got some really, really interesting characteristics. Uh, it's, it's, it's not lithium polymer, okay? And don't, don't make the mistake of thinking that it's lithium polymer because it has, it, you know, it's a different chemistry. And I'm gonna have to put this aside because uh, it's not quite in there, but I'm gonna have to mess with it, getting to figure out all the cables. I have to mess with it. Uh, it's not lithium polymer, but it's also not um, nickel metal, metal hydride. So it's its own kind of separate chemistry. And you need to have a charger that can handle this battery. And I happen to have one, but it's a separate setting. So you do, do not, you know, there's two mistakes you can make. You know, this, this is like the charger that, that the transmitter came with. You know, it's a well worked charger. And do not try and charge the battery by plugging it in from the side uh, of, of the transmitter. It's not going to work. It's, it's just a different chemistry. And, and don't try and use your, your lithium polymer charger with it. I mean, I mean, my charger is kind of fancy and it can charge all sorts of different batteries and it's got a different setting for LIFE and that's the one that you have to use. But other than that, um, it's pretty straightforward, you know, it just works uh, fully charged. I think mine show, sh was showing like 10.4 volts and pretty quickly went down to 10.3. But it's got um, maybe, you know, four times the uh, capacity of, um, of the battery that I replaced, uh, which, is, which is really nice. And, and the self-discharge discharge rate is very low. So, so I basically, just need to charge it up and you know charge it and forget it uh, I'll bet I can just fly and fly and fly without worrying about you know so, you know it losing the, the, the charge while it's sitting there or the battery just, just running down and you know for you know 650 I think I paid for it or, or six bucks uh, that's great um, the other thing the other thing with uh, this I, uh, lithium iron phosphate is that they they last a lot longer than lithium polymer. You can expect maybe uh, you know maybe four times as many cycles. You know lithium polymer, generally speaking, people say that they're they're good for 500 cycles because that's when you you 
at that point you're probably going to be at down to 80% of the original capacity. Well, these batteries are good for two th at least 2,000 cycles, which is amazing. So it's going to be good for five, six years. Um, you know, I think that uh, the one the one I had there before lasted maybe four. You know, at, at that point it really wasn't very good. You know, I was still using it, but you just didn't have the capacity that that it had to begin with. Um, and also, these batteries are much safer than lithium polymer. I mean, I guess if you really, really abuse it, you can get it to self-ignite. But it really doesn't like doing that. It's not like the, you know, the lithium polymer ones that, you know, will do that a lot more readily. So, so that you know, they're a lot safer, uh, and and also um, they uh, they're non-toxic. You know, there are no toxic chemicals in, inside of them, and they they get used in a lot of applications where. The, you just don't want to have to deal with any any toxic chemicals, you know, like cobalt. Um, so so that, that that's a nice, you know, and disposing of them also is not is not an issue because there's nothing toxic in there. Um, keep in mind again, you know, it's it's a different chemistry. Instead of a nominal voltage of 3.7, uh, the nominal voltage on this is 3.3, and I think you can discharge them down to. You know, per cell down to like 2.9 or 2.8 or something like that. So, so, so the bottom line is uh, they're a little different, but they're uh, but as far as the voltage, they're a great fit for the NIMH, which is you know why what it's replacing because um, you know nominal voltage is 9.9, .9, which is pretty close to to what the uh, eight um, I guess double A cells that it had in there. Uh, you know, if it's 1.2 volts per cell, that's that's pretty close. So, I'm really happy with them. Um, you know, there's kind of a set it and forget it. You know, there's no safety issues, and uh, you know, I have I haven't had to re I mean recharge it. I, I just charged it up, and it seems to be holding up just fine. I've only used it for maybe an hour, so um, I'm guessing it'll be good for I don't know a bunch of hours. So anyway. Um, Something to look into. I, I again the only the only caveat is that you need to have uh, a charger that can handle them. But if you have one, um, I can strongly recommend them because they, they really no. I don't see any negatives. You know, they uh, it's all pluses as compared to what I replaced. So anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed my little uh, cloud review. And and this one is called. Let me. See, I'm gonna zoom it in. But it's a. Um, it's a uh, Havoc King 1500 milliamp power LIFE and it says transmitter battery charge at 1.5 amps 9.9 .9 volts 1C 15 watt hours uh, so that's everything that's written on it but it's just kind of a bright orange so I think it's easy to spot on there on the website and again you know very inexpensive now what a lot of people do is that you know they, they'll, they'll fit in a huge capacity battery but I don't see the point of doing that. This is this is plenty, so you know don't go crazy buying, you know, this super battery to put in there. Anyway, till next time.